Hello everybody, welcome back to the Max Hamilton Road to the Show Series episode 182. It is time for the All-Star break, um, which means we'll play this All-Star game, uh, pitch the first two innings like normal, and then we'll take a look at some stats. It's always a shorter episode. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, uh, why not go ahead and start that? Because we will look at a lot of different stats after. Severino on the mound for the NL. We have it for the AL. We look at who made the All-Star game after. It just, uh, so all the votes are casted and we can just uh, look straight into it. But here are the starting line. Oh, I guess there is no lineup. We can look at Severino versus Max, though. We have 199 strikeouts. We're pretty close to 200. Asked the other day if I think we'll make it to... What was it, 300 strikeouts? Yeah, I think we will. Falling, but we will have baseball for you live on MLB Network. The Midsummer Classic between the National League All Stars and the American League All Stars. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All Star Game here on MLB Network. I'll be joined in the booth by Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, but before we turn to them, let's turn to the results of the fan voting for this year's All-Star Starters. Final preparations being made on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League Baseball All-Star Game on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Max Hamilton, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a lot of fun. This guy won the Cy Young Award last year in the AL, so he knows how to pitch. And one of the things he does effectively, he attacks the strike zone. And if he does that, he should be fun to watch in this one. All right, Mikey. Now batting, Mike Trout. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Get this All-Star game started. This is Max's fourth MLB season. His second, yeah, second All-Star game start. That was in there. Didn't get the call. Only the second pitch of the game tonight, and that's called the ball. This looks like it could be very good for the hitters. Raining on the All-Star game, already 3-0. And that's finally over for a strike. Finally got one over. Nothing worse than starting the game with a four-pitch walk. That's down the line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. It's a good thing this stuff doesn't count for real statistics. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Well, his job right there at the plate is to move. Oh, and he hammers it well to then, deep right it's 2 nothing. <laughs> oh, good grief. It's a rarity for Max to give anything up. And, well, here we are. Bryce Harper is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. 
coming down in buckets cats and dogs insert metaphor here and the four it is what it is we don't i don't as much care you know that in particular that pitcher's mound when it's the all-star game really be careful not just for the position players but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now so the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field first strike out of the day in the first out after giving up two runs that if that was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to he went right after him for the strikeout Carlos Correa stands in as he looks at ball one here this is it high in the air out well but I believe our center fielder will let it drop okay I take it back that is a double and he is in at second base with a one out double when he started this game Giving up three extra base hits in the opening frame was not what he had in mind. He could still settle. Good grief. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. Soto with a single. And it's 3 0. Hey, this pitcher better make an adjustment. That's a lot of loud contact. That's four bullets in the first inning to open up this game. From the stretch. 3 0 in L. The third baseman. Machado now on 0-1. That's taken. Thank you for the now call, finally. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much Machado. I guess we'll just blame it on the rain, right? I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. 1-0 pitch is a circle change. It runs outside 2-0. Three runs already home here. 3-0 and oh now. Well. Wow, this first inning is really out of character for this guy. Normally, he comes out of the gate much sharper than this. Good grief, man. To see if he can make some adjustments so he can stay in his game. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle and if you're a pitcher right there you can't get discouraged sometimes even when you make a good pitch the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. circle change come on blue i mean circle change there a ball and a strike what do you expect you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game you got to get that pitch right there oh two he's almost certainly out one one he's got a chance to really do got some him. okay and he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as uh, the side is retired so not a good first inning runs on five hits no most certainly not the men left on they basically go one two three so up steps Ozzy Alves he'll start things out in the top half of the second one of the keys to securing a win they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings no balls in one strike very late we'll go change up wind up here comes the 0 and 1 Cutter. And he fouled off. This one off. Hey, nobody out now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. The All Star game used to determine now a swing and a miss. your home seed for the playoffs. Strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Um, and I have to say, I'm happy it doesn't so anymore. The is empty here with one away, and that brings up Mike Trout. That just doesn't uh, make sense to me how a team could not get home field advantage simply because their whole comp, their whole not division. Good play, Bellinger. Simply because they're not conference. What do we call them? I guess league. Yeah, their league is weak. Strike one. Nope. Not getting many calls today. Fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. Line drive base hit. Well, two out single. Harper will get a chance to hit here this inning following the base hit. 
Wow, and the hits just keep piling up for them. Take a look at the numbers here. That's already six hits, and we're Don't only like in the Number second three. inning. We'll see if they can oh, keep this up as the innings go on. Harper. Bryce Harper is the batter now as he looks at a bowl of 1-0. and There's a bouncer foul to the left of the plate, 1-1. One and oh, one. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold yeah, off on two. it, and it's 2-1 and one now. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now, and he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely forgot I had these. Got him. <laughs> all right, so we're through two, and I think that's all we get to pitch in this. Oh boy. And yes. Come on, guys. At least get a hit. Not the all. It's five nothing. Bellinger finally gets a hit on Duhar. Hits a homer. Good grief. It's eleven to two. So we weren't winning this game anyway. <laughs> Good grief, man. 18 hits. <laughs> 15. Perez, Wendell. Nope, we're going to lose this one. 15 to 3, I think. Yep. Good grief. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. Well, a comfortable victory. We do get the loss. No shock there. We did have five strikeouts, though. So that was cool. Now we'll check some quick statistics to update you half, a little bit over halfway through the year. And then we'll be on with things. All right, so first and foremost, we'll check our calendar. We have Cleveland next, which I think we pitch against still. Either that or it's Boston. We don't know. It's a weird thing coming off of the All-Star break. Um, and we have the rest of July, all of August, and basically all of September, and that's it for the season. We're 54 and 43, and that puts us at three games behind the Yankees. White Sox lead the AL Central. Astros the West. We are in a wild card spot right now, which is good to see. Mets lead the NL East, but that's an awful division. Pirates are crushing the NL Central. And the Giants, who are 66 and 29 lead the NL West. Dodgers and Cubs hold spots for the wild card. I would love to look at the Giants team now. What? Seve. Alright, let's just do this. Trout, Seeger, Seve, Yelich. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can see why. Just those four are incredible. Two great bullpen arms. Daniel Palka has had a really good season. Cy Weller. Yeah, fair enough. This team is really good. Like, really good. They got Jake Bowers recently. That means we made a trade. So that means... Transactions, who do we get? Alright, so we traded. No way! Alright, we've got a lot to catch us up on. We got Keenan Middleton, that's okay. David Matlock from the Pirates for Kevin Morris is our first one. We did a bad thing, guys. 
I can already see it. All right. David Matlock. Right, useless trade. We acquire David Bodie for Barry Moreno and Lonnie Dunn. I think Barry Moreno was a really young arm that was like 23B potential, 76 overall. And Lonnie Dunn was a really good 76 overall, 8 potential, 23-year-old closer. We did get David Bodie, the 30-year-old, 79-year-old. That's awesome. Nice. At a spot where we already have Yadi Diaz and Adolfo Costa. At least Bodie plays everywhere. But that just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, this front office continuously messes up. We acquired left fielder Clint Parsons for Jake Bowers. Clint Parsons is already 30. And uh, it's basically a useless trade for somebody who's pretty good for us. Awesome. Anyways, Max is 12 and 1 on the year, not a point nine six ERA, 199 strikeouts and 159 innings. Here's some uh, statistics against certain teams. We do those before each game most of the time. Not really. I forget most of the time. But um, we've given up eight homers, almost 200 strikeouts, like I said earlier. Yeah, we are really good versus lefties, <laughs> too. Anyways, our perks, it's a maxed out tree on all four. We're pretty good at that. We've got relationships out the butt. We, we are friends with everybody. Um... Except Keenan Middleton, he's new. And that's about it for that. I mean, we can look at our gains this season. Plus four to K per nine. Three to walks. Two to homers. One to control. Four to velocity. Trying to get that velo up, obviously. Some fielding things. Nothing hitting. We don't hit. So. Yeah. And we already looked at the standings. Let's look at the all-stars for this year. Max Hamilton, obviously, Syndergaard, Clevenger, Heaney, and Manaya. All right, these two guys. And then we have Hand, Watanabe, Kimbrell. Yeah, no, nobody crazy made the list. Salvador Perez was your starting catcher. Belly was your first baseman. Eric Marcus, Miguel Andujar. Francisco Lindor, Andrew Benintendi, excuse me, Malik Smith, Brian Goodwood, Tyler Naquin, and Randall Grichuk did make the team. Good for him. For the NL side, here you go. Severino is honestly now one of the best pitchers in the MLB. <laughs> yeah, he's incredible. Seth Lugo, Kyle Bearclaw. Ken Giles, yep. Gary Sanchez plays catcher uh, for Washington. Matt Olson is first base in L.A. Ozzy, Manny. What did Yon Moncada get to? Holy cow. The Met is a 99 overall. Excuse me. Gio Rochella, Brian Anderson's a 92. Good for him. But holy cow. 99 overall. Seeger and Correa. Soto and Palka makes it. Mike Trout. Who's this Kevin Mendoza guy? Yeah, he's so good. Matthew Clem. Bryce Harper in right along with Yelich. Nimmo's there too, but not really. Socrates Brito made one. We used to play with him. And Alex Verdo Verdugo. Wow, I am so tired. Um, anyways. 
We can look at the lineup for us real quick. This is what it looks like halfway through the year. I mean, come on, guys. David Bodie wasn't that needed to get rid of two good prospects. I just don't get it. I guess they're going to win now. Here's our rotation. It's actually pretty solid. Max then takes a drop off, but not anywhere bad. It stays consistent there. Uh, and then Sean Reed Foley's actually been good too. Our pen's pretty good. Two good setup men with a good closer. Kenny Middleton will be a good addition. I guess they're looking win now, maybe. I guess that's what we're looking for. We're three back on the Yankees. I'm going to call the episode here. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. It's Max Hamilton, episode 182 in the book.